Looks can be deceiving. This plant looks like a sweet potato, but it's a highly toxic root. But that doesn't stop people from enjoying it. Cassava, or yuca as it's called in Mexico, is slowly but surely making its way to Western taste buds via expensive snacks. But this food is far from new. People have eaten it for centuries in other countries, despite being poisonous. But why do people eat toxic cassava? How could you safely prepare it? What dishes could you make with it? Chew on that for a minute and we'll come back with all the answers. Cassava is native to many tropical regions of Latin America. It was first domesticated about 10,000 years ago in Brazil. The Mayan civilization cultivated cassava about 1,400 years ago. This ancient root can grow in a variety of conditions, even in marginal and dry soils. That's why it became a popular ingredient for dishes in southern Africa after the Portuguese introduced it to the continent around 1558. It's not a surprise that people have loved eating it for thousands of years. This starchy tuber is highly nutritious, as 100 grams of cooked cassava contains 20% of the recommended daily amount of vitamin C. It's also rich in copper and other essential minerals. Recently, this tuber caught the eye of the Western consumer market. The root has become a health-conscious ingredient in snacks and plant-based food products. Although delicious and nutritious, raw cassava can be poisonous if eaten uncooked. Raw cassava contains naturally occurring chemicals called cyanogenic glycosides, which can poison and even kill you. Bon appetit. When an unsuspecting victim consumes this tuber, it slowly releases cyanogenic glycosides into their body. This causes a fast drop in blood pressure, convulsions, and in some cases, death. But what does it taste like? Besides being a naughty root that could kill you, cassava has a nutty yet sweet flavor. But be aware of its taste. There are sweet and bitter tubers. The sweet ones contain minimal amounts of cyanogenic glycosides, while the bitter ones contain up to 200 times the safe level recommended by the World Health Organization. You probably never knew that having a sweet tooth could save your life. To prepare cassava properly, you'll need to peel the skin off the tuber, then soak it in water for four to six days, as this helps to degrade the cyanide found in both varieties of the plant. And now comes the cooking part. You can bake or roast it, but you need to do it thoroughly to eliminate its toxicity. Now you have a safe ingredient you can eat as tapioca or bread. You can even dry it as a gluten-free alternative flour for baking. You'd have all the sweet flavor of the root without any wheat flour. Colombians make an amazing cassava cake called enucado. It's a popular and delicious dessert. In Western Africa, people boil cassava balls and dip them into sauces. Well, that was delicious and dangerous. If you enjoyed that risky combo, let me introduce you to aki. It's the national fruit of Jamaica and one of the deadliest fruits. Find out why in another episode of Origins of Food. <laughs>